What it do? Now you're here. Episode 4. Still in the middle of being sick, but uh, yeah, still gotta record. If this works, then it works. If it don't, then it don't. But let's get into it. Heinz. In Sama. In the Coliseum. So did he actually mean it? Or was he just going there for, uh, you know, just to check things out? <clears throat> I am a little bit sick, so apologies if I make some <clears throat> annoying sounds. Upon the infidels, the true, that that live under you. <laughs> She's hooked. She's like, whoa. <laughs> Oh my god. So is he going to advertise by going to the Empire? But then how did he end up in the freaking Coliseum? Who told him to go to the Coliseum? Why would he think to go to the Coliseum? Here we go. <laughs> we teleport, my guy. <laughs> I'm friends with him. We're chill. We're homies. That's why I could just cross borders simply. Come on now. Yeah, 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 please enlighten me too. What's your plan? So he doesn't know anything about the meeting between Jerk Neve and. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's not, he didn't even mention it. Is that Einzak? Einzak must be like a godsend for Einz, to be honest. You know, from, from being with people that constantly think he's, like, beyond argument, like Albedo and stuff. It's like anything he says, it's for a reason. And then Einzak always questions him or will question him. That must mean a lot for Einz, to be honest. Fucking Einzak, you're the one that told him to go to the Coliseum. You're the one that told him to go there. Oh my god, it was Einzak. And you have, you have freaking, you have connections with this promoter, bro. You set up this, you set up this whole thing. Thanks, Einzak. 
Appreciate you, brother. See ya, Isaac. Peace out. See you later. To be honest with you, if anyone ever greater teleportation me, I would shit my pants right there and then. <laughs> oh, I hear, I hear the crazy wizard himself. <laughs> Book of the Dead Is it in Japanese? <clears throat> Is it in Japanese or something? Is that why? Shimizos are droplets that are separated from the river of the greater world. The size of the soul may be different. <laughs> Freaking Ainz is confused as hell. He's like, what? What is going on? What the what? <laughs> Why? Why? Oh. I see. He's trying to buy time. <laughs> Fluter, if you could understand Hiragana and Katakana, then and only then will you be able to understand magic. <laughs> Uh. Rabbit man? Is it literally a is it a, is it a man though or is it or is that just a name? <laughs> Very impressive collection. Damn, look at his eyes. What is that? What is that? It it looks different from the other swords. Runes? Runes? Made by the Rune Workshop of the Dwarven Kingdom. D oh, okay, so this is how we get her. This is how we're connected to the dwarves. But runes? Is is runes like an Yggdrasil thing? Huh, fair enough. What's up, Osk? Hmm.
Oh, he's capping. He's lying. You can only use once every 10 years. Oh, what a flex. Yeah, I, this one takes 10 years to charge, but you know, I could do about 50 other spells. Similar. Easy. Poor Gazif. Man's dead eternally. Well, he can just go into his Momon form, right? Wait, was... Oh my gosh, was the rabbit scratching himself? <laughs> Gagaran. Isn't Gagaran the big one? In the adamantite group. <laughs> yeah, I think that was, I think that was very understandable to figure out. I want to see his face. The strongest warrior in the whole empire. <laughs> Poor jerk new. <laughs> Poor jerk new did. He's going through it. Let the man be. He's losing his hair. Let him be. Oh, that was with, uh, what the frick was that guy's name? Goo or something? It was something very short. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's a good way to say it. Oh my gosh. So if Ein's wait what? Eat him. The fuck? And Ein's bring them back to life too. That's a scary thing. Just like he did with the lizards, he can kill them and then bring them back. Here we go. <laughs> Jack Dave's going through it. It's like a desperate cry. It's not even a support supporting cry. <coughs> mm. 
The funny thing is, if you think about it logically, Ayn is actually the only reason why this world hasn't gone into complete despair. Because if he goes, then all the really evil people, like Albedo and Demiurge, can get out. And that's when real hell breaks loose. That will be true despair when all of Ainz's people in Nazareth can actually be themselves without having to ask Ainz for, for help or permission. When they can just be and do what they do. No, no, dude. No, I don't want to live in the world like that. Oh. Oh, you burn him. He's going to feel that. He definitely felt that. <laughs> this is, yeah, this, I guess there's no way game. <laughs> Did he switch weapons? Respectable. Whoa. Oh, he's not affecting. Oh. Yo. Whoa. That was a real, that was, that was actually, that actually felt pretty dangerous. Damn. Imagine that being part of Ainz's army too. Relatively speaking, yes. Relative to him, yes. But everyone is, to be honest. <laughs> Well, yeah, if he could freeze time, then yeah. That shit is cold. If I'm strongest in the empire, then I'm, then I'm the strongest in the world. Oh, he's, he looks up to touch then. Oh, he done. He's a knacker. Is he dead? Oh my God, he's dead.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sasuga don't know. I thought you were screaming for his demise. I scream for your downfall, now I'm praising you for your success. What the hell? Vassal state. What is what does vassal state mean again? The only thing I know about vassals are like vassal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Vassals are like under the kingdom. Do they like provide? Do they provide like food and 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 income in return for protection or something to the person they're vassalizing too i guess he, the thing is he hasn't seen through anything <laughs> it's funny because the truth is actually what the other guy said. <laughs> he wasn't really thinking. It's wild because if you think about it, he's actually like pretty fortunate. Compared to all the other humans that are about to get completely curb stomped in the wake of Ainz Gorgon. <laughs> He's in contact with Ainz. He's in friendly terms and relations. And he is seen as a piece that cannot be replaced in the Empire. That's, that's, as, at that, that's as secure as it gets in this world. In Nazarick, to be honest. So, yeah, episode... Uh, of Overlord. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed watching it with me, and um, check out that episode five if y'all seen it. Um, I think it's being uploaded, or it's uploaded, or it's uploading, whatever. But I'll see you guys in the next one. See you then.